Good morning and welcome to the Velo Ads YouTube channel. Have I got a treat for you today? Um, just cycled over to Southwark Park in London, which is a small park. The question is, what have I cycled over in? It's the Milan SL Mark 7! first one in London actually and uh, here it is I'll show you around the bike show you the spec that I went for and um, I'll give you my opinion on what I think of the machine I've ridden it twice now and uh, it took me quite a while to set up the seat exactly how I wanted it because now there's a bit more adjustment on there which I'll show you anyway and um, yeah there's uh, one thing that really surprised me with this machine which I'll tell you about in a bit anyway let's dive in and um, I'll show you around the bike. Okay, so uh, the spec of this bike is uh, the bottom half is white, obviously, RAL 9010. Uh, top half was a special request from me, which is uh, my favorite color at the moment. Well, it's in fashion, Minerva blue. I went for Z-Fal mirrors, uh, Kellerman Electra, which is a Kellerman light option, uh, which is 14.4 volt battery, uh, 6.9 amp hours and charger. Uh, the headlight, I went for the SLAX, which is the top of the range headlight, and it has quite a few different settings on there. Uh, crank length, 155s, 65 tooth chainring, and then I went for, uh, I think it's about a 40, 42 tooth chainring on there. Uh, got Schwalbe 1 tyres on the front, 90 mil brakes, which is, which is what you need really. We've got no luggage compartments in the nose. I've got a bottle holder, got a cat eye computer, uh, we've got the battle mounting hood. I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, we do have the com uh, luggage compartment which is in the rear and yeah that's about it really. So first of all let's start with the battle mounting hood. So I found that the battle mounting hood is a little bit heavier than the old standard hood and I think that is because of the air vent system which they've had to build underneath the hood just in under here which I'll show you um, but yeah I do like it a lot I, lo I love the, the side windows they're so much smaller than the uh, original standard uh, Milan SL and uh, I, uh, when the bike arrived I was, I was wondering what these little holes were for and there's one there and one on the other side but I've worked it out they're drainage holes and another upgrade of just, just, it's just the little things, you know, this little uh, dollop of uh, silicone all the way around. Because uh, on the old SL, when you shut the visor completely, uh, the edge of the visor would just rub against the paint and it would just wear it away. So that just stops that, which is really just, yeah, it's just a nice touch. Anyway, let's go inside. As you can see, this is the inside of the battle mounting hood. So this whole compartment here, is new so that was quite a surprise when I saw it but I really like the view from inside because when you're in you're basically up here I don't know if you can see that there you go so that's your view outside and then you've got this quite near your face so the breeze is coming through there and then this little toggle here you just pull it down like so and then the vent is uh, fully open you get a nice breeze coming through so you can actually keep the visor closed. Um, these little sort of handles here, each side, you just turn those and then you can slide the visor up or down, you just push them forward or pull them backwards. So yes, that is the battle mountain hood in a nutshell. It's a work of art. Okay, let's go inside now. This whole piece here and all the way down carbon fiber piece that is an optional extra it's a reinforcing sort of bar which stops flex 
in the boom, which your pedals and the bottom bracket and etc. are attached to. So I thought I'd go for that and give it a try because I remember when I used to put the power down I used to see a little bit of flex in my old boom on my Milan Mark V SL so that's an upgrade, it seems to improve things, I haven't really tried it in a race yet that will be next weekend so let's see how that goes so that's new um, the headlights amazing we've got quite a few different settings on here so once it's switched on on the uh, control panel on the left there's a little button here which glows blue it has a blue light on it and you can um, change the brightness of the light with that so you don't have to mess around over here anymore when it's on you can even flash cars with it if you want someone to pull out or whatever so that's quite handy um, so that's the first one we have in that on the on there really nice what else have we got so inside we have the new seat I mean it's so much wider than the seems so much wider than the old seat and I've got this groove in here now as well and light it feels a little bit lighter to me as well so let's take it out you do it's so it's quite wide so you do have to watch when you pull it out you have to twist it to the side or you'll scrape all your lovely paint off so twist that to the side get the seat out that's the back of the seat same fittings on the bottom there and I'll show you how you put it back in sideways on the way in and then you just slot those locators on the floor you can see I'm doing this one handed it's a bit wobbly there you go in there and you just drop the back down a hey, presto it's in so yeah I've gone for the, the I think I'm getting old I've gone for the bottle holder <laughs> option on my Alpha 7 and on this because I used to just have my bottle on the side there on a on a top or jumper or something so it wouldn't roll around but now I like to have my bottle to hand there so that's an optional extra which is is invaluable in my opinion it doesn't add much weight at all so and we've got the big juicy battery here which comes as standard with the Alpha 7 you've got the gauge there which shows you how much power you've got in there um, we've got the usual uh, map reading light here, which is so sunny today you can, can't even see it. No, that's there. The speedometer. I can find my finger. Speedometer there. So now this is where it gets more interesting. Uh, I, it came with one, two, three of these little pads. So basically, when you're first the bike arrives. You see that you can just, they're just attached by velcro. You can take that one off if you want to have the seat lower. Um, I've taken one or two out. I can't remember if it came with three or four, three or four. But anyway, that, that's I seem to have found my optimum position there. I really do like this new rear parcel shelf in the back. I had my shoes uh, trainers just sitting on there on the way here. I've got my mobile bag in the back there um, another thing you, you now have the uh, DF rear suspension unit which is under there which you can't really see um, and the oh, it makes such a difference the bike is just so much quieter inside oh, the flooring the floor has all been reinforced as well but yeah it's I'd say goodness me I'd say 30 30% 35% quieter than in my 35% uh, 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 quieter than in my Milan S SL Mark 5 the Mark 7 is which was the biggest surprise how much quieter it is over the old Milan amazing and uh, they redesigned as most of you already know they redesigned the rear wheel box so that's helped a lot with the noise reduction but the rear suspension has changed the game for me it's it's pucker now absolutely pucker so let's see if we can see the rear suspension unit if we open this up. Not really. You can see the bottom of it. Oh, it's so new. Another thing I want to show you is the new hatch. It's been needed for a long time and they've finally done it. It's actually, I'd say, a bit smaller than the, um, than the Alpha 7 access hatch. But then this bike is a lot narrower. So, yeah, let's take it off. 
It's a tiny lid, as you can see. Very small. But it doesn't matter the size of it, it makes a world of difference. As you can see, I've, I've got a little bit of yellow tape there because um, I've adjusted the boom a couple of times just by millimeters, trying to get it exactly where I want it. And so that's just reminding me if I still want a little bit more, that's where I should work from. Oh, it's 65 tooth. Look at the size of that bad boy. Now you can get a really good look at the, uh, the carbon fiber reinforce, reinforcing post there. So, so beautiful in there. You can get a better look at the SL AF light maybe. And that's the Milan with the hatch off. I've removed the battle mounting hood and I've popped the combi hood on just to give you an idea of what it looks like and how it works. So here we are. And that's the view from inside. I lift that up. We'll lift it off. <sighs> so it's secured by Velcro. The two pieces are secured together with the Velcro strap here. And then you have another bit of Velcro either side, just at your shoulders to secure that bit. Pull on the foam cover, left. And as you can see, open that Velcro, it releases. And then that little recess in there, little gap there all the way around, that's where your foam cover goes. Happy days. So when, uh, yeah, when you order a Mark 7, either with the standard uh, hood or the battle mounted hood, this comes as an extra, no additional cost for the summer, which uh, that's when I can see you using it for the summer or a dry day and it's quite humid or warm and you don't want to get too hot, stick that on. So I would like to say a big thank you to the guys and girls at Velma World for upgrading the Milan so well and just so uh, they've improved it They'll improve the ride the noise levels it's just it feels so much better that's mine but if you'd like to try it just give us a shout drop us an email at veloads um, and uh, go on our website veloads.com come down and try it out see what you think if you're interested in purchasing one check out our previous videos on YouTube at veloads and uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like the video or um, maybe even subscribe, you never know, you might want to watch some more, who knows. Um, yeah, so give us a thumbs up, subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment as well just letting us know what you think of the new Milan Mark 7 and the upgrades that have been implemented on this bike. And uh, awesome, see you in the next one. Bello ads out.